So I wanted to take this question and maybe expand upon a little more because I felt it really hit a chord with me and, and I know with a lot of people because uh, you know I've seen some of these videos and it's kind of really cool to see where people come from and the mindset that they have and how they've kind of grown, uh, especially you know me as a photographer and mentally as well. And uh, someone asked a question, I'm gonna dive into it in a little bit, but it involves uh, what opened my eyes to creativity? What was the biggest turning point in my photography career? What opened my eyes uh, to, and my creativity uh, in regards to this field and my career? And it's as simple as something that um, that that really hurt me for a while. And you know, it, it, I was at a really dark place. And, you know, a lot of I know a lot of people don't know me like this. Um, but uh, I was uh, I was in a really long relationship for almost five years coming out of college uh, and I was uh, cheated on and that was one of the biggest eye-opening experiences in my entire life uh, I thought things are going very well I thought you know I had everything lined up I, you know I had a and it might sort of surprise some people but I even kind of had a ring aside and everything like that and uh, it was one of the biggest eye-opening experiences I've ever had it hit me the most it hit me uh, you know obviously uh, you know emotionally as well and I, I guess I really never respected seeing love and all that kind of weddings. Like I was shooting a couple weddings and stuff like that, you know, obviously before that happened, but it wasn't until after that to where I really appreciated, you know, the, the, uh, the, the time, the emotion and love that you could take to even just pressing the shutter button of an amazing moment of helping, uh, you know, a couple set up an amazing moment to capture something real uh, and raw and something that makes them go, wow, that was really awesome. You know, I really felt that type of thing. So it was a simple, I don't want to say it was as simple as being cheated on, but it was, uh, it was, I was actually being cheated on and it's no disrespect to, you know, uh, to you out there. Um, but it, that was one of the biggest things in my life. It really, uh, made me mentally go through and physically some things as well. Uh, reevaluate a lot of things, reevaluate my thought, my creativity, what I could do to uh, kind of get over it in a way. And essentially, I really turned to uh, YouTube in that regards. And I turned to a lot of friends, uh, you know, all my friends who really helped me get through the time. And I, you know, one of my good friends, Ryan Abe, he, he, uh, he you know, him and uh, he, and Jared Poland as well. They. You know, they were kind of with me when this happened at the time, and they really just said kind of stick more or less towards YouTube and and really just dive into it. So this became my creative outlet, and since then it really, really has stuck with me. And that's why this kind of really has a you know a big meaning to me, and I really enjoy this type of videos. But uh, I would say anonymous that that was the biggest turning point uh, thing in my career. It took a major heartbreak. You know, it happens a lot to people in life. So hopefully maybe I, I can relate to someone else and tell you it's gonna be all right. But I think that was one of the biggest things ever to really uh, to really kind of turn my eyes to creativity to kind of develop my style a little more. It um, definitely has made me appreciate and realize the things I could set up for people and to capture moments and what it really means, you know, to you know, to display love, to show emotion, to get a real kiss compared to fake kisses and all that kind of you know candid stuff in regards to all that type of photography. So, long story short, being cheated on was probably one of the best things to happen to me to help me uh, as a person to move on uh, and to develop and mature in a quick amount of time and to figure out what the hell I was going to do with my life.